Welcome to the next eValue tutorial video. This video is going to teach you how to begin logging your SD IPI hours, your self-directed introductory pharmacy practice experience hours. There are two steps to this process. It's important that you complete both steps. This is step one called time tracking. First we hit the time tracking tab. Then we hit the subheading log hours. This will take us to the screen that, that displays the calendar. First, we need to make sure that the task is set for pharmacy patient health care related. This is the only setting that will be used in order to make sure your IPI hours count. Next, you need to make sure that the course selected is self-directed IPI in order for these hours to again count for your self-directed IPI hours. Next, you must choose a supervisor. No matter what, no matter who supervised the event that you did, your academic advisor is the person you put under this heading. You will have the opportunity to clarify who the supervisor of the event was in step two. Next, you put a little, you put a, a title of what it was that you did during your hour. And then you properly document the time. After you've documented the time, you click on the appropriate day. When you scroll down, you should see the hour that you logged in the calendar. This completes step one of logging your SD IPI hours, and there is one more step you must do after this.